You're welcome here to the Halo Tile Centre of Excellence uh, for the minor Rhine 1 football final between Slaney Harriers and Gorey. Uh, both teams unbeaten all year on a lovely morning for football. Um, we just run through the teams. Slaney Harriers, Blaze Carney in the goal, Isaac Carney, Aaron Whiting, Leo Morris, James Rothwell, Sean DeBar, Ronan Byrne, Luke Regan, Karma Casey, Oshin Devereaux, Desmond O'Connor, Brian Ivers, Oshin Regan and Colin Ivers and Paddy Scott. The Gorey team, Connor Redmond, Stephen Dixon, Joe Swords, Colin Malai, Keen Kyo, Dara Kelly, Pierce O'Neill, uh, Tiernan Myler, Matthew Ryan, Connor Flynn, George Kavna, Luke Christie, Tom Funge, Angus Byrne and Dara O'Toole. The referee about to throw the ball in uh, between Luke Regan and Carmel Casey. Uh, Gorey break it and it's down. Uh, tackled by Luke Regan on their midfielder, Tiernan Myler. Number 13 comes out, Tom Funge, takes a hop, uh, well it is a lovely morning, uh, it is a bit greasy and Paddy Scott turns that one over, uh, car and uh, outside of the boot from Brian Ivers, who had a, a stellar game in the under 16 final, which they won on Monday, last Monday evening, but that one doesn't go his way. Uh, Gorey man carried out over the far sideline and James Rothwell is looking for options here. It goes back to Paddy Scott again. Paddy out from his corner forward. Burt looks to be playing a sweeper role. Looks up the pitch. And that's inside to Oshin. Out to Luke Regan. Luke Regan plays the ball across. Desmond won't thank him for that one. A bit of a hospital ball, but uh, Desmond got it. And Luke gets to return hand pass. To Sean Dunbar. Sean, a, a classy footballer. Takes a hop. Uh, Sean's sister Roche playing the County Intermediate Camogie final at 11.30 in Ross. Uh, difficult day. Two county finals overlapping, which is unfortunate. Luke Regan picks that one up. James Rotwell throws it out to the sideline. Gorey Man gets a hand to it, but it's retrieved. And back to Luke Regan. Uh, a few passes going astray early on. Desmond O'Connor takes it. Uh, and he gets turned over there. A turnover by Matthew Ryan. And that uh, Gorey centre back, Derek Kelly, brings it forward. That's over to Tiernan Myler. Tiernan Myler attacks. Out to the halfback is Pierce O'Neill. Throws it outside. Back to Tiernan Myler. Tiernan Myler meets a roadblock and it's recycled back to Connor Flynn. He's half forward. Back to Pierce O'Neill, number seven. Over to Matthew Ryan. This is a ponderous build up here, as football is at the minute. Uh, the Probe in here and Gory work it across, I suppose, 30 yards out. No one willing to take a shot. And it's over to Tiernan Myler. Tiernan Myler brings it across. Several hand passes here. And they do try to bring it forward. And Sean Dunbar gets a hand to that one. Almost intercepts it, but the centre forward, George Kavanagh, brings it back out to uh, Keen Kyo. Keen Kyo. Uh, Throws it out to the far side to Luke Christie. Luke Christie brings it forward. To number nine, Matthew Ryan. Matthew's on a tight angle there now. He goes down the end line and wins a free in. A free in to Gory here. Free into Gory, left foot kicker. <coughs> Takes a shot and that's wide. An early wide for number 13, Tom Funge. Blaze Carney plays the kick out now. Blaze sends it long. It's knocked on and Number 10, Oshin Devereaux on it. It's delivered inside to Oshin Regan. Centre back on the under 16 team the other night. To Colin Ivers. Colin Ivers is dangerous. And that's surely a free. The advantage, yeah. hand is raised. Colin Ivers foul there in that particular passage and uh, a free. Um, Colin was taking frees in the semi final. He'd probably convert this one off the ground. Oh, 
It's not Colin Ivers. And that comes off the post. Comes off the post from Cormac Casey. Um, Brian Ivers had a, a serious display on place balls um, in the under 16 final the other night. Kicking uh, two 45s and several long range frees. Um, so that was a let off from a Gory perspective. A high ball in, uh, it goes over the head of Oshie and Regan. And Gory turned it over. The full back, he's Joe Swords. He's turned a couple of times. Back to his keeper, Connor Edmund. And out to the side, Pierce O'Neill. Pierce O'Neill brings it up uh, and, and brings it out. The ball comes out here. We're struggling for vision down there. The hordes of people there, it's not simple. A gory line ball here. It comes out to number 10, Connor Flynn. Connor Flynn sends it back to Connor Redmond, the keeper. Connor Redmond brings it forward and kicks the ball to his midfielder, Matthew Ryan. Matthew Ryan retrieves that one. He looks at his options. He throws it out to his half forward, Luke Christie. Luke Christie takes the toe tap, goes over the head of Brian Ivers to Tiernan Myler. To his corner back, Colin Malai. And that's a free, a free. Um, Cormac Casey just a foul there. And Gory get the restart quickly. To centre back, Derek Kelly carries it forward and captain. Matthew Ryan throws it in to forward. A, for, oh, a, a forward slips and uh, he's turned over by Isaac Carney. Isaac Carney is in the corner. He stoops on that one. He seems to be fouled, but the ref the judges play on and and works his way out. Paddy Scott has it. Paddy or Island Road. Back to Desmond O'Connor. To Luke Regan. Aaron Whiten comes out with it. To Brian Ivers. Brian Ivers, a uh, left-handed hand pass. Leo Morris comes out with it. And James Rotwell carries up the far wing. James is a county minor this year. Looks at his options. Back to Brian Ivers. <sighs> Brian Ivers plays the ball in and it seems to be a push in the back there on his brother Colin. But uh, Colin uh, plays on and that's definitely a push in the back and the referee has the hand up for an advantage. And Colin probably better off take the advantage. Yeah, and the referee rightly awards the free there. He was fouled. Uh, Cormac Casey took the last free and hit the post, uh, but Brian Ivers showed in the under-16 the other night that he's a very capable free taker and looks to be ambling over to this one. <laughs> Brian Ivers places this one. It's a tight angle for a right forward kicker on the 21. And again, about eight minutes old and no score yet. Brian Ivers faces up to this one. And Brian strokes down over the black spot, makes no mistake, and that's uh, a point to Slaney Harriers. Uh, they open the score of the game. Brian scores uh, six Joe, points out of eight it. for uh, for the Slaney Harriers or seven points out of eight, sorry, for Slaney Harriers the other evening. Um in, in a county final win over Ballyhog in Patrick's Park. Uh, uh, Brian and Colin Ivers, son of Brian, but uh, that's for another matter. Oshie and Regan turned that one over and seemed to be fouled. Yeah, and, and the referee in fairness <laughs> way hit his time there to, before giving that one. Um Oshin Regan turned over the kick out and then got fouled. And uh, Oshin Regan, another man, uh, centre back the other night, and that under 16 team, a fine under 16 team, had a great win in the county final. So Brian Ivers plays this one again. And Brian, as he does, strokes that one over, and that's two points. That's two points in two minutes there uh, for Brian Ivers uh, from place balls. And uh, Corey ought to learn that. If they give Brian Ivers the opportunity for freeze, they will suffer. To kick out now, placed by Connor Edmund. 
assesses his options. He looks up, there's a bit of a sun into Connor's eyes. Uh, the sun is bad, but it's not that bad. He should know where the sidelines are. And uh, he kicks that one straight over. Um, and the pressure is on Gory. They're now in a great run inside here. Brian Ivers looking for that one. He has a turn of pace. Oh, and a great hand pass inside. Desmond O'Connor skews that off the wrong side of the boot and wide. Uh, that was a good opportunity there. Uh, created by a good run from Brian Ivers inside. So the score remains two points to nil. Uh, Connor Edmund leaves the hat in the goal this time. Maybe he's blaming that for kicking the ball over the line. Not sure. He kicks it out this side again. Towards his number number 13, Tom Funge. And that one ends up over the line again. Uh, uh, Stanley Harriers take a quick line ball. And Karma Casey brings that one forward. To his number 10, Oshin Devra. Throws it out to Brian Ivers. Brian throws a shimmy. Gets inside. He's dangerous. That's a, surely a high tackle. No, ref of judges play on. Brian passes her outside. To Desmond O'Connor. Desmond is where he's shooting after the last one uh, and, and plays it out to James Rotwell. James slipped on that one and it's turned over by Goryman. Goryman is Luke Christie. Gory bring it forward, the far line. To number five, Keen Kyo. Bartley Regan playing manager and linesman over the far side. Very helpful for the referee. And that's a quick ball in to Brian Ivers again. A quick ball inside. Oshin Regan Oshin Regan ah oh, that's a push in the back and uh, the referee missed that one it appears and maybe fouled again that's uh, that was a definite two hands on the back from the gory man on Oshin Regan there uh, should have been a free but the play goes on a uh, gory ball up to the wing to Connor Flynn Connor Flynn turns his man and uh, Oshin Devereaux giving away the free there Quick ball. Gory bring it forward. Connor Flynn. Says his options. Out to his captain, Dara Kelly. To Connor Flynn. Out to his wing back, Pierce O'Neill. No, that's turned over. And that's Paddy Scott. Paddy making a right nuisance of himself there. Uh, playing a sweeper roll out from corner forward. Uh, has turned over two balls so far and has carried several balls out of the back. And here's Sean Dunbar. Brother of Eddie, Paddy and Cahill. And uh, his sister Rosha is playing the Camogie County final today. Desmond O'Connor turns around. Recycles out to Luke Regan. Luke throws it out to Brian Ivers. Brian Ivers sets his options. Looks for his brother Colin inside. Colin looks to be double marked. Double marked and definitely fouled there. He pulls inside. Colin Ivers, oh, left foot effort just marginally wide. A great ball in from Brian. Um, Colin seems to be getting uh, two men on him inside there. And uh, turned there, didn't matter. Two men took the, took the chance, uh, took shot on goal, and unfortunately went wide with left foot. Keeper Connor Edmund looks at his options again. His kickouts haven't been going terrible well so far, so he hoops that one up the middle. Safe option. A bit of pulling the dragon there, and the ball breaks out to number 10, Connor Flynn. Connor Flynn throws it back inside to Dara Kelly. Da Dara Kelly, Isaac Car Carney, and uh, number 13, Tom Funge here. This is dangerous. Tom Funge takes on. Oh, that's a great goal by Tom Funge. He turned Isaac Carney there. Uh, all came from the kick out, which broke out to the wing. A quick ball forward to Tom Funge. Uh, turned Isaac Carney and bet uh, Aaron Whiten. And, and stuck it in the net. Uh, pass Blaze Carney. Uh, so that's two points to a goal. And that's a, that could be a big moment in the game now because uh, Slaney Harriers have just missed a, a goal chance to the far side. And the ball comes out here. Get up. The, uh, w wing back nearly falls out on the commentator there. Very theatrical stuff. And a quick line ball. I think it was a free you judged. A uh, couple of steps there taken by number eight. And Tom Funch here again. Tom Funch seems to be the danger man for Gory. 
Oh, and that ball hits the post. Uh, Slaney Harrier is living dangerously here. And Sean DeBar comes away with it. Sean DeBar assesses his options. And, and Brian Ivers there. Brian Ivers got on the end of this one. Brian Ivers takes it forward. A great turn of pace. Looks for his brother. Or no, looks for Oshin Regan. And that's touch. And that goes... No, it doesn't go over the line. Oshin Regan kept it in. And he's taken on his men here. Uh, perhaps a free, but the referee allows play on. Uh, Oshin Regan felt he might have had two or three frees so far. The ball comes out to Luke Christie. Luke Christie. Uh, Tom Funge is the danger man, it appears, for Gorey after getting the goal and, and creating a bit of havoc any time he gets the ball. And the ball comes forward to Connor Flynn. Connor Flynn faces up Cormac Casey. Shimmy's round him. Dara Kelly here brings it forward. Number nine, Matthew Ryan. Matthew Ryan throws the boot at that one. And Blaise Carney's out to collect. Blaise Carney gives it to his cornerback, Isaac. To Desmond O'Connor. Desmond looked for options. He throws it back inside. To Paddy Scott. Paddy Scott. To Sean Lombard. Sean looks up. Paddy, or to, to uh, Isaac Carney. Isaac Carney throws it out to James Rothwell. Been thrown around the half back line there. Cormac Casey has it, midfielder, carries it forward. He's looking for his options. Um, a lack of movement maybe in the half forward line uh, means that the lads are having to recycle here. Desmond O'Connor takes a solo. Aaron Whiten's gone ahead of him. Desmond O'Connor back to Luke Regan. Luke Regan. Over to Leo Morris. To Aaron Whiten. And Sean Dunbar has it now. Sean, a very stylish footballer, brings it forward. Brian Ivers. Brian Ivers to Leo Morris. And Leo Morris finds a bit of ground in front of him now and he could take this on. He should keep going. Paddy Scott's on his shoulder if he needs him. To, to Shane Regan. I know Shane Regan, that skews outside of his boot, but it's still in play. To Colin Ivers. Colin turns. Colin, a footballer of ample ability, uh, recycles out. James Rothwell's on the ball now. James turns out to Luke Regan, the midfielder. Luke Regan looks up. He has his midfield partner, Cormac Casey, ahead of him. Throws a shimmy. Doesn't see number 10 behind him. He still has the ball, though, and he's moving forward. This is an opportunity for a score. And Cormac Casey strokes that over. And the sides are level. A goal to three points. Um, a very patient build-up by Slaney Harriers there. Uh, went over and back, over and back, but uh, ended up in a score. And uh, Gory keeper Conor Redmond goes short with this one. Uh, to Pierce O'Neill. Pierce O'Neill's wor working it up the swing. To number 10, Connor Flynn. Le Leo Morris, and that's taken straight off the ground there by the danger man, Tom Funge. He needs to be stopped here now, because, yeah, and by God, he is stopped. Um, that could be Paddy Scott, and I'd say if the letter of law was applied, it could be a black card, but uh, Paddy rightfully removes himself from the scene of the crime, and the referee doesn't bother with the paperwork number 15 Dara O'Toole standing over this one right foot kicker kicking out of the hand takes a couple of hops of the ball and pulls that way the near side that is a poor kick and uh, Gorey have missed two close in frees early on not easy on the final day maybe nerves getting the better lads but uh you would expect those kicks to be made. Uh, and the score remains. A goal to three points. Blaise Carney assesses his options. Puts it down there, Paddy Scott. No. Um, Derek Kelly wins that one. Pa Paddy is... Uh, gives away a free. The referee sends Derek Kelly back to where the foul was committed. Derek's look for his options. A short kick. 
has brought forward through Ken Kyo. Recycle out. Dara Kelly. Number nine. Connor Flynn brings it forward. Oh, great block down by Cormac Casey on Tom Funge. Tom Funge has it again. He cuts in along the end line. Oh, great hit. A great hit there uh, by Leo Morris. And it comes out to Brian Ivers. That's a big turnover there. Uh, Tom Funge, the danger man for Gorey, was attacking there and, and it was turned over. A great hit by Leo Morris. And now it's turned over and Brian Ivers uh, is on the attack. Oshin Devro. Shane Devereux has it again. He looks inside. The sweeper's covering off in front of Colin Ivers. Colin Ivers obviously identified by Gore as a danger man. Over to Luke Regan. Or to Oshin Regan. Oshin and Luke, two brothers. To Desmond O'Connor. De Desmond going to have another go ahead. And this one is more successful than the last. Desmond slots are over there. A lovely score. Uh, went out to the wing. Assessed their options. Came back to the middle. And Desmond's on opportunity and slaughter over the bar. Four points to goal. A uh, short kick out there by Conor Edmund. Uh, his long ones have had mixed fortunes there, so he's probably looking to go with a short one. Uh, turnover there to Brian Ivers, and this is dangerous. Brian Ivers coming at pace. Brian Ivers... Uh, pulled down there. Uh, is that a penalty? That is the question. Brian Ivers pulled down. Uh, defender. Uh, Montlody Bench looking for black cards and all sorts of penalties. Uh... The referee having a word there, looking in the a yellow card, and is it a penalty? No, no, a free in. And the Gory defender counted himself fairly lucky there. That was a, a definite goal opportunity, uh, and he pulled him down. But uh, a free, a free to be taken by ever reliable Brian Ivers. Four points to a goal here, and although Gorey have had chances, uh, especially through Tom Funge, who is the danger man, um, Slaney Harriers have had the line share of chances. Uh, they missed an early free to Cormac Casey, which hit the post, and uh, uh, they've converted a couple of frees and points through Cormac Casey and Desmond O'Connor from play. As Oshin Regan receives a bit of attention. From his brother Kieran. Didn't know Kieran was a qualified physio, but uh, a lovely point there from Ever Liable Brian Ivers, and that makes it five points to a goal. Connor Redmond, after forgetting the tee, or maybe electing to go without, hands in the air like Christ the Redeemer. Yeah, and uh, decides to kick it to Colin Ivers. That's probably not a good idea if you're a keeper. Into his brother Brian. And Brian sticks in the net. <laughs> Keepers in general have a habit of uh, blaming everyone else, but uh, Conor Redmond is going to have to look in the mirror for that one. Uh, bad kick out after uh, not bringing his tee out of the goal. Straight to Colin Ivers, who passed it to his brother Brian, and Brian made no mistake. He kicks it long. Leo Morris in the air. And it breaks out to, to Matthew Ryan. Matthew Ryan has it back again. And the score 1 5 2 goal here. Uh, Sean Dunbar, uh, referee giving advantage, and Gorey going to look for the advantage. Follow if they, if they could. Um, if Slaney Harriers can block them out here now. And Avoid conceding a score to be uh, oh, it's a free there. That seemed a slightly harsh, but we would be very biased to be fair. And Cormac Casey, uh, Gorey haven't had much luck from frees yet so far. Uh, Tom Funge looking around, he's going to take this one on himself. Left foot kicker, he kicked the first point and uh, went wide, but with 30 yards out the edge of the D. Tom borrows a few steps and then plays the white. Uh, let off for Slaney Harriers. Uh, a free taker 
uh, of utmost importance in games these days. Uh, and to be fair, Slaney Harriers have a very reliable one in Brian Ivers. Uh, kick out, Blaise Carney out on Luke Regan. Luke calls the mark. He definitely had a hilt. Ah, oh, that's harsh. Now, uh, Luke Regan went to call the mark there with the ball in his hand. Uh, the ball was knocked from his hand and uh, it was retrieved on the ground and uh, Stanley Harriers penalised for a throw. Quick ball in to Tom Funge. Tom back out to Dara Kelly. And you'd have to say that Slaney Harriers' defensive structure is fairly uh, miserable in the chances they're giving up here. Aside from that goal and uh, the shot to hit the post in the middle there and it's a great turnover. Turnover and... Rona Burn comes away with it. Unfortunately, Rona gives the ball away. Karma Casey tackles his man. And Gory counter attack here. To Tiernan Myler. Tiernan Myler up the pitch. George Kevna has it. Keen Kyo brings it forward on the far sideline. And Leo Morris, the hand in there. Leo Morris gets penalised there and may have landed on his awkwardly on his shoulder, his hand there. He seems to be in a great deal of discomfort over the far side. The referee goes to check on him. And uh, Bartley Regan and Mouse in to check too. Kieran Pender, the physio. Hard to see what happened there. He went over on his shoulder, got a belt somewhere. Uh, he seems to be in a great deal of discomfort though, whatever happened, but the, the free will be to Gorey and uh, I'm sure Tom Fung will line up to take this one. Thomas had no luck from free so far, a left foot kicker. The score is currently 1-5 five, five points to Slaney Harriers. Brian Ivers, their scorer in chief, uh, with one three. And then points from Desmond O'Connor and Cormac Casey. <coughs> Leo's in bother over here. And I wonder if he'll resume this game at all. He seems to be in plenty of pain. Physios giving him attention here. He's getting up off the ground, which is positive. And he hobbles off the pitch. Not sure, maybe he's winded or got a belt in the nether regions perhaps. He hobbles back into play and Tom Fung is still standing over this one. A long time to wait for a take a free. Whether that's good or bad, we'll soon see. Leo seems to be able to resume. Tom Funch, a couple of bounces. That's, uh, that one looks to be going wide as well, and well wide. Jesus. Uh, Gory will be regretting uh, their, their misses from freeze. That's, that's three frees uh, have gone wide, and the last two have gone extremely wide. Blaise Carney goes to collect the ball. Couple of options moving outside. Blaze sends long to Paddy Scott. Uh, it breaks uh, on Connor Flynn and breaks out and Gory have it. <sighs> Slaney Harriers come away with it after a ground battle. James Trotwell has it. Recycles to Cormac Casey. Out to Luke Regan. Luke Regan steps inside. To James Trotwell again. Out this side to Ronan Burton. To Paddy Scott. Paddy Scott throws it outside. A great ball into Toshin Regan. Toshin Regan being uh, fairly manhandled there, but he takes the man on and he gets an advantage when it probably wasn't a free. But uh, uh, the advantage. Was, the 
the referee. He did have his hand up for an advantage there, but uh, this continued once Oshin took the shot. Uh, Oshin been manhandled in there anytime he gets the ball. Uh, we have a extremely dangerous full forward line, Oshin Regan and Colin Ivers. Connor Edmund here again. He plays a short one. That's dangerous. Uh, I'd be trying to keep the ball away from Brian Ivers if I was the goalie keeper, but uh, he succeeds in getting that one away. And the wing, or the wing back, Pierce O'Neill, throws it up the line to Conor Flynn. Conor Flynn brings it inside. Ta tackle by Colin Ivers. Uh, who brings it forward? The goalie midfielder now. Matthew Ryan has it. Out to Conor Flynn. Kim Kyo. To Dara Kelly. Dara Kelly has it again. He throws it inside. Tom Funge has it. Every time Tom gets the ball, it looks dangerous. Oh, that's a great block down. A great block down by Desmond O'Connor. And there's a scramble inside. And a Slaney Harriers man looks to have it. And there's an advantage up for a free out. James Rothwell carries the ball out. Takes a toe tap. Takes another one. And, and he has space in front of him here. And Oshin Devro goes up the far line. He's surely fouled there. James Rotwell has it. To Desmond O'Connor. Desmond O'Connor. Uh, great block. A couple of seconds ago to Sean Dunbar. To Oshin Regan. Back to Sean Dunbar. Sean might have a pop here. No. He looks inside to Brian Ivers. And Brian strokes another point. That's a very, very, very well worked move. Through the hands. A, a great block down of Desmond O'Connor. Which created the turnover. Uh, it was picked up and worked up the far line uh, through several hands. Uh, Sean the bar played a 1-2 over to Brian Ivers who stroked the ball over the bar. And Brian Ivers is a constant thorn in the, the gory defence here. 1-6 to a goal. Colin Ivers here uh, breaks that one down. Ronan Byrne takes it forward. Yeah. Uh, the referee calls half town and I make it... Uh, 1-6 to a goal. Uh, be nearly afraid to comment on scores these days. Uh, we'll bring in uh, Eddie Dunbar here for a quick word, Eddie. Uh, Eddie has a brother, Sean. Um, <laughs> co come here. Uh, Eddie, senior footballer, intermediate hurler. Uh, Eddie, a good first half performance there. Uh, uh, Brian Ivers, a big try up front. Uh, what do you make of the whole thing? Um, they're kicking the ball around well. They're giving it into the full forward line quick and laying off the shoulder and getting a few good scores out of that way. Um, they're taking the freeze well as well. Very well. Yeah, the lack of a gory free taker is telling uh, Eddie uh, a couple of frees there. Um, I think they're after missing four by my count. Yeah, definitely. They missed. They had two free takers and they both missed. So they're that will uh, yeah. will be a problem. If a miss from either side. Two wrongs don't make a right, as they say. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah. Well, uh, we're six points up now, and, and to be fair, a, a good attack and trek going forward, and hopefully we'll we'll hammer it home in the second half. Yeah. Well, they're going to be playing up the hill in the second half. Well, as long as they keep putting it through the hands, they should be. Good to go. Yeah, the county board would be mortified if you thought there was a hill on this pitch after spending a couple of million on it, Eddie. Um, uh, your sister Roche is uh, featuring in the Camogie today in Ross, and we wish her the best luck. Thanks very much. Yeah. The best. No, no bother. We'll, we'll cut her off there for half time. we we'll go for the tea. Thanks very much. Um, in the second half, uh, the score 1 6 2 goal to Slaney Harriers. Uh, Tom Fun just out for the throw in, whether he's moved out to midfield. He was a danger man inside. and. I'm sure the corner back, Leon Morris, would be glad to see him out there. Um, Corey had to try change something to get back into this game. The ball about to be thrown in. And Cormac Casey breaks it and Luke Regan gets his hands on. Desmond Connor comes across as an option. And Desmond is a uh, miss solo as that. He still has it on the ground there and goes to stoop on it. That's surely a free. Referee letting her run, to be fair to him, making a good game of football of it. <coughs> and Gorey on the attack there's a bit of a hill on the pitch here so um, Gorey playing with the slight gradient here uh, Gorey man on the ground after getting tackled he picks himself up that's number 11 George Cabinet taking a minute to gather himself and limps away gingerly uh, he's captain Derek Kelly has the ball looking at his options he chooses to go backwards and 
Trades passes with Conan Malai. Conan Malai brings it forward to Dara Kelly. It's thrown inside and that's turned over. Turned over into the grateful hands of Ronan Byrne. Works it out. And Conor Casey out to James Rotwell. James Rotwell brings it up the pitch. Brian Ivers an option inside. James goes. Oh, he throws that one away, unfortunately. Uh, perhaps should have gave it first time to Brian. And the ball comes out, number 28 is on. Oh, no, he carried a couple of steps there. Um, we've got a name on number 28 there now. Ted Sheehan. Uh, on for Gorey. Uh, uh, on for Matthew Ryan. Uh, number nine, the midfielder. Uh, Desmond tackled fairly heavily there, and the ref gives a free. Uh, in fairness to the ref, he's letting it go. And uh, that's brought forward. Tom Funch kicks it inside. Aaron White now tackling his man. The full forward, that's it. Angus Burton. Cuts inside and it's dangerous. Tom Funch and he sticks his second goal of the game. That's 1-6 to two goals. And, and Tom Funch from his uh, position switch out to midfield gets on the end of that to score his second goal of the game. He's a Carney kicks it out. Blaze Carney to Brian Ivers. Brian Ivers takes it up the wing. Brian, a very speedy operator. He's ah, uh, his, his three lads hanging out in there, and the referee eventually gives him uh, number twelve, Luke Christie, uh, the eventual culprit. Uh, Brian might have the distance to kick this. Uh, a greasy surface now, so maybe kicking off the ground. He's not fancy now. Desmond O'Connor making the move. A quick ball to O'Shean Regan, who gives it back to Brian Ivers. Brian takes it inside uh, and tries to pass with Cormac Casey. O'Shean Regan throws it inside to his brother Luke. Uh, it's turned over by the Gory defence. And Ted Sheen comes away with it. Ted trails passes and he has it again coming forward. James Rotwell's in attention. Oh, a collision between two Gory men there. And, and that was a head collision there. And... Uh, That was an innocuous collision there. A uh, gory man collided. Ted Sheen, newly introduced, collided with his his uh, his own player. And that, I don't know if it's a free to gory. It, it looks to be a free to gory. That's <laughs> one six to two goals. Uh, three point lead for Slaney Harriers. It was six at half time, but a, a Tom Funch goal under assumption. Tom Funch takes this on. He's dispossessed. That that was very close to being off the ground, and we get a kick away. And it's, it, to be fair, it's a very very greasy surface here. Even though it's a lovely day for football, uh, it has rained all week, so the ground is hard but wet on top. Paddy Scott comes away with it. Sean Dunbar. Sean Dunbar boots it forward. O'Sheen Regan. He slips. And it goes back to Sean Dunbar. Sean Dunbar breaking the line here. And it's into Paddy Scott. Paddy Scott shoots a goal. Paddy Scott. That's a great move. Sean Dunbar involved in it several times. Traded passes with O'Sheen Regan. Back into the cover to Paddy Scott, who converted the goal. Paddy is a... Uh, corner forward, come back a sweeper, but found his way up the field and onto the end of that one. So that makes it 2 6 to 2 goals now. Turned over by Desmond O'Connor into Colin Ivers. Uh, tackled, tackled twice, he fell. Uh, 
has turned over a gory man there oh tackled fairly heavily there looks like Leo Morris Leo fairly uncompromised in the tackle now to be fair and uh, Two sixty-two points here. Gorey bring it forward to Tom Funge. Tom been tackled. Uh, in fairness, three or four Stanley Harriers men around him. I didn't see a foul, but the referee judged to be a foul, and that's a, a free to Gorey. Gorey have had no luck with the freeze to date. Um, and, and elect to, to kick that one backwards uh, to, to Ted Sheehan. Number 12, Luke Christie takes it forward. Pierce O'Neill, and that's turned over, and Paddy Scott the goal scorer. Oh, and a late hit there on Paddy Scott. Yeah, that was uh, unnecessary. The referee taking his details. Had to be fair to Paddy Scott, he shipped a heavy belt there, but hopped off the ground and back up. Maybe the adrenaline scoring the goal there. Sean DeBar says his options, kicks one forward. Oh, you need to go to that one, Oshin. Oshin was kind of waiting for that one, but uh, Paddy Scott has it back. I have to say, Paddy Scott now is everywhere. Uh, out to Luke Regan. Luke Regan throws it out the wing. It's carried forward. Oshin Regan has it. Oshin Regan, that's to, uh, to his brother Luke inside. Roland Burn across to his. Uh, Wing back counterpart James Rotwell. James is running into the centre. Throws it off. The advantage hand is up from the referee. Uh, Cormac Casey electing to play on. Oh. Uh, Ronan Byrne has it the far side. He slips. A lot of players slipping here. Uh, Oshin Regan has it. Oh, a very good ball forward. And this is Desmond O'Connor. Desmond O'Connor slips. Uh, referee just be pushing the back. Uh, Brian Ivers is strolling over to take this. No, a quick one. Uh, blocked down. Uh, Desmond got fairly lucky there. He went to take a quick one, which was blocked down by the gory man. Uh, and the referee's bringing it in. He's, he's making Brian's job a small bit easier. To score 262 points. And Brian strokes that one over. But saying he Harrier seven points to the good. Uh, kick out goes out and a gory man protesting vigorously there. Not sure I was recording the score there when that was going on. Uh, The ball comes out, Ted Sheehan has it. Cormac Casey with a heavy tackle there, the referee judges that to be a free. Uh, Tiernan Myler steals a few yards and a quick ball in. No, he's called back. Rightfully with the referee, he'd probably gave him seven or eight yards every time he kicked that free. And you'd have to say the, the defence barred the two goals scored by um, Ted Funch. The defence is fairly miserable. <laughs> Uh, Gory go through the phases here. Derek Kelly, the captain. Oh, it's inside, and this is dangerous. It's thrown inside, and that's to the net. Three goals, and that was finished to the net by. I see now when he turns around. Uh, number fourteen, Angus Byrne. That's two seven to three goals. Um, Stanley Harrier still four points to the good, but uh, Gorey's will lead to get caused a great catch by Oshin Regan on the restart. Oshin throws inside to Sean Dunbarry, centre back. Uh, Stanley Harriers be served now to hold her up here for a minute and try to get a, a score to respond to that goal. Turned over by Gorey in the middle. Tom Funge takes it forward. Tom be better off stop there now. Luke Regan gets across. Dangerous ball inside. Well, 
Ah, a judge to be a free and uh, Tom Funch is down injured. He's probably going to be the free taker. He's down injured on the 45. Looked to be a hand injury. Slaney Harriers, four points to the good here. Two seven to three goals. <laughs> Number fifteen, Dara O'Toole is gonna take this. Dara missed one earlier. Um thought this would suit Tom Funge a bit better off the left, but uh, Tom is down injured so Perhaps not available to take this one. This will be uh, Gorey's first point of the game if it's converted. <laughs> Dara O'Toole, bit of a wait for the free taker. Probably not ideal if you're not going well on them. But he uh, he kicks that one over the bar, makes no mistake. And that makes it. 2-7 to 3-1. Uh, that's 10 points to 13. Aaron Whiten takes it forward. He's tackled by Ted Sheen. Aaron is still going. He, he's a free there now, yeah, and uh, don't know if he knew that or not, but uh, referee the hand raised. Uh, Aaron with a surge and run out of the full back line. Aaron kicks it forward. Uh, comes back, come back to Aaron, to Desmond O'Connor. Throws it out to... Uh, Machine Devro across, and that's a dangerous ball. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's, it's quite dangerous playing it around here when uh, so many lads slipping. But uh, it comes away through Leo Morris to Carmel Casey. Carmel Casey to the goal scorer, Paddy Scott. Paddy Scott's carry forward, he's, he's tipped away from an awful lot of players on the ground here. Uh, Ted Sheehan takes a forward for Gorey, he takes a return pass. He's still going to foul. Luke Regan puts in a good tackle, and that's a punt loaded ball. He was punched again, the gory man. Uh, Enda Murphy checking the details there. Everyone from Montlaudy very paranoid about time and scores these days. Don't know why. Uh, quick, quick free from Luke Regan to Sean Dunbar. It was a marauding run from Sean Dunbar that created that goal for Paddy Scott. Uh, Desmond O'Connor takes it. Back to Leo Morris. Out to Cormac Casey. Cormac uh, tips one across to Luke Regan. And this is opening up this side. Luke Regan out to James. James a powerful runner. James takes the charge to Brian Ivers. Uh, Brian, uh, a one-two with Paddy Scott, and Brian is going to take a shot here. And anytime Brian shoots, no, cursed him. Uh, Brian with a wide there. The score remains uh, two seven to three one, a, a three-point lead, and we have a substitution on the Gory team. Cormac Robinson. Connor Robinson. Connor Robinson. Replaces wing back Keen Kyo. Connor Robinson, number 27. So 27 and 28 are now on the pitch. Connor Evans assesses his options. It looks to be going long. He sends it out. Paddy Scott pushed in the back there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Paddy Scott went to, to jump for that. And he was pushed in the back by Tom Funge. Tom is remonstrating with the referee, but. Uh, He's not going to change his mind. Cormac Casey's look for options. James Rotwell's out on the wing here. Sean Lombard. Sh Sean Lombard to Cormac Casey again. Cormac Casey takes it forward. Uh, danger here, maybe. Oshin Riga has a side and has coughed up and turned over. Uh, Oshin slightly pushed there as he gathered that one 
and uh, lost grip of the ball. Uh, a free there, a uh, bit of a high tackle. Uh, be a harsh enough card now. If it is a card, it'll slap on the shoulder, really, but uh, referee taking the details. That's number 10, Oshin Devro. Yeah, flashes the yellow card. It's a bit of a breeze blowing up here too. It had been a very calm morning. A slight breeze. Uh, Favouring Gory here now, along with a bit of a hill. Uh, as Gory take it forward. Number 12, Luke Christie, throws it out. Uh, and it comes back into Derek Kelly. Derek Kelly plays it forward. and Oh, I judged I've overcarried it there. Uh, a bit of a handbags here. A few lads just getting to know each other. The show, show to walk away, come from the sideline. Uh, Paddy Scott looking for a quick one here. And Desmond O'Connor spots the day. Ah, that's, that was harsh enough now. Uh, maybe taken from the wrong position, but Paddy Scott had made a great run forward. Uh, amid the confusion, uh, Paddy Scott saw the opportunity, uh, but it's been called back, and the ref is going to give an opportunity to retake it, I'd say. Luke Regan has the ball. The referee marks the spot. Leo Morris uh, out and Ronan Byrne carries up the far line. Ronan Byrne across uh, inside to Desmond O'Connor. Desmond O'Connor gets the kick away to Cormac Casey. Uh, James Rothwell in space this side, but Cormac elects to go to Colin Ivers. Colin Ivers has it inside. Uh, Colin, yeah, two hands wrapped around Colin there and surely an advantage, yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, a free, a free to Slaney Harriers. Uh, the score line uh, two seven to three one. And if Brian converts this to be a four point game, Brian Ivers placed the ball on the ground. He's been very good from free so far. He knocks that one and that unfortunately goes wide. Uh, still a three point game. That's two seven to three goals in a point. Three points in favour of Slaney Harriers. Uh, quick kick out to Pierce O'Neill uh, and works away to Dara Kelly. Dara Kelly spills it. Luke Regan's in attention. Uh, Paddy Scott is there. Sean the bar tackled him. Uh, the advantage the hand was raised. Uh, Sean a bit eager in the tackle and rightfully holds the ball and slows it down. This allows a quick one. And Gorey. Uh, we need to be more switched on from the quick ones, especially with Gory's threat for goals here. Um, we have probably been the better team here, but Gory have the ability to get goals. If, and uh, quick freeze, we need to be tuned in. Pierce O'Neill takes it forward. Back out to George Kavanagh. A probe just outside the 45-yard line. That's thrown in. And uh, number 10 takes it now. That's going to go. No, I thought it was going to go wide, but Blaze Carney gathers. Uh, dirty sun in Blaze's eyes there, so it was well gathered. And Aaron White comes away with it. Desmond O'Connor. Desmond O'Connor throws it back across the square to, to Luke Regan. Luke Regan has Paddy Scott outside. Paddy Scott throws it out the far line. I think that's Ronan Byrne there. And I uh, think that's Noah Hughes on as a sub for Slaney Harriers. We'll see who went off in a minute. Uh, I think that's Noah Hughes anyway. And Desmond O'Connor plays the forward. Toshin Regan. Oshin Regan throws it in. James Rothwell, strong run. Brian Ivers has it. He's been pushed, surely. And that goes out for 45. Uh, uh, 
will figure out. I think uh, Noah Hughes is on. Uh, for Slaney Harriers. Uh, there's someone getting attention on the far line there. We'll, we'll figure out the details in a minute. Uh, Brian Ivers looks to 45. A small bit of a breeze blowing in his face. Uh, physio Kieran Penner on with Oshin Regan. Dispense a bit of water. <coughs> Brian Ivers. And that's a beautiful kick of a ball. A beautiful kick of a ball. And that's 2 8 to 3 1. Four points now in this game. Brian Ivers uh, gave a clinic of dead balls on Monday night in the under 16 final. Uh, kick out by Connor Edmund, goes long. Slight push in the back there by Paddy Scott, but he gets away with the Sean DeBars on this one. He's coming forward. Uh, Leo Morris seems to be able to hurt himself in that exchange. Uh, Desmond Connor takes it forward. To Sean Dunbar again. Sean, several runs to Colin Ivers. To Cormac Casey, steps inside. There's a goal chance here. Cormac Casey is goal. Cormac Casey. Oh no, a very, very strange decision by the referee. Uh, Cormac Casey, who has absolutely been pulled and dragged out there, uh, gets done for over carrying and that goal is overturned. A very, very curious decision there by the referee. Uh, Gory come away with it, and that's a free. Uh, Sean Dunbar sportingly checks on the welfare of his opposing player there after nearly killing him. And I uh, have to say, that was a curious decision by the referee there. Um, the ball comes forward to Pierce O'Neill, Luke Christie. Ah, Sean Dunbar read it like a book. I have to say, Sean Dunbar's influence in this game has grown. Blaise Carney here. Takes it out the wing. Oh, well done. To Isaac Carney. Isaac Carney comes away with it. Just, oh, he shipped a heavy knock there. Shipped a heavy knock and got up very quickly in fairness to him. Oshin Regan, oh, unfortunately. Uh, James, James Rottwell's on this one. And, and a free to Gory there. Referee didn't. Uh, it was probably harsh. Probably could have done the Gory man for overcarrying, but we'd be fairly biased. Uh, Colin Ivers chasing down Pierce O'Neill here. Uh, Pierce O'Neill spills and Colin Ivers on that. A great turnover. He picks it up and gets fouled. That's a great turnover. Gory were on the attack. Uh, Paddy Scott standing over this one. The score 2 8 to 3 1, 14 points to 10. Brian Ivers getting a bit of attention over the side from Ben Martin. His brother Colin has the far side. Tyrone and Burn. O'Shane Regan. O'Shane Regan takes the toe tap. He plays it back out. Paddy Scott. Karma Casey to Leo Morris. Leo turns. He stoops on it. Oh, quick into to Colin Ivers. Colin Ivers turns. This is dangerous. Colin Ivers shoots. Side netting. Uh, but he, the referee had his arm raised for an advantage and a free into Colin Ivers. Colin Ivers has posed a big threat there and he's been. Uh, there's a sweeper playing in front of him the whole game, but in fairness, he's still carrying a big threat anytime he gets the ball. Karma Casey. Uh, has this one in his hand. Uh, 14 yard free. He hit the post with an earlier one. Brian Ivers has been on duty since, but Cormac has this one in his hand. And Cormac Casey makes no mistake from that one. Just 
2 9 to 3 1. Five points in this game as Con Connor Redman uh, hasty to take the kick out, slips, and he lets her fly. This one O'Connor slips, a lot of lads slipping, and that breaks. Desmond O'Connor breaks the hunt on oh, a heavy shot in on the centre back. Let's say Desmond to be a bit ginger after that one. Uh, and Gorey, they're probably going to need a goal here. Uh, 2 9 to 3 1. A five point margin. Only a couple of minutes left as Ted Sheen comes forward to Darrow Tool. Darrow Tool. And Paddy Scott is there again. To be fair to Paddy Scott, he's all action. He throws it out to his cornerback, Leo Morris. It's, it's been tackled. And in fairness to the referee, he's let things go more today. And it's a ball forward. Uh, I'd say a gory ball broke the house. O'Shane Regan was under it, but a, uh, a judge to be uh, O'Shane's making news of himself there. And, and that's a dangerous ball. Uh, he, he forced them. Um, Colin Livers on that one. To be fair to O'Shane Regan, probably uh, breaking a few laws there, but stood in front of the line ball and forced him to kick it. And Brian Ivers has it here coming forward. Brian Ivers, a tread with the ball in hand. He shimmies left. He's been pulled. He's been pulled. Ah, the referee. Yes, yes. He finally calls a free. And that was an important turnover there. Um, Lane Bauman across the pitch. Colin Ivers picked it up. Turned it over. Uh, ended up in the hands of Brian Ivers. Took on his man. Uh, and was fouled. He's standing over this one now. It's ben Martin dispensing the drinking water. Referee takes us up. More morning. Uh, referee said three minutes. And Brian Amber standing over this one. This makes the margin six points. To be fair, you couldn't write off Gorey at any stage, given their uh, ability to get goals, and Brian Amber strokes over another one. And Brian Amber's place kicking. A uh, quick, short kick out from Conor Redmond to Pierce O'Neill. Uh, to Derek Kelly. Ted Sheehan, Ted slips under pressure from Noah Hughes. Back to Tara Kelly. And uh, almost turned over there, Joe Swords. And uh, referee judges to be gory uh, free. Uh, quick free over to Stephen Dixon. Stephen Dixon comes forward. With it. Takes two toe taps. Number 11, George Kavanagh. Uh, quick ball inside to the full forward line. Uh, Tom Funge. Tom Funge is there. He's getting plenty of attention there, but uh, the boys keep him out near the sideline. He wins a free. Uh, Gorey haven't had much success from freeze there and a bit of a slowdown here. And a quick ball inside on top of Luke Regan. Luke Regan catches that one and throws it out to Karma Casey. O'Sheen Regan has it. To no Noah Hughes. Uh, back. Paddy Scott to Noah Hughes, back to Paddy Scott. Corbett Casey to Noah Hughes, or to Paddy Scott again, to Noah Hughes. Noah plays the ball forward and, and uh, O'Shane Regan lets it beat him and surely to God that was a free ref. The referee allows a play on and to be fair, he has been letting the game run but it seemed to be, uh, O'Shane Regan definitely seemed to be fouled there. The Desmond O'Connor stands him up there and almost case turnover, Desmond a bit overzealous in that one but they won't mind too much, the margin is six points and there's, there's only probably a minute left so there might be a couple of technical fouls here Desmond in fairness turns it over there uh, throws it into the middle to Sean Dunbar Sean Dunbar comes away with it to, to Brian Ivers uh, the cornerback goes to to give Brian a hefty shot but Brian is uh, aware of the danger and carries the ball up the pitch he's just looking to oh very well done by Brian Ivers uh, he got a clip there and he's gone down but uh in fairness, he burned a couple of valuable seconds. Uh, if they can just stop Gorey uh, scoring a goal now in the next attack, they'll probably see this one out. Noah Hughes chasing down. Uh, Noah <laughs> lassoes him there. A slight pull of the jersey. When I say slight, it's probably the wrong, wrong word. Uh, blatant pull of the jersey. Uh, into Tom Funge. Leo Morris stands up his man very well and pulls him down the far sideline. Uh, in, in, in fairness to uh, to Leo, 
uh, he's had the task of marking Tom Funge most of this game and he's done a, a very good job. Uh, Tom Funge definitely the go-to man for Gorey. Uh, a free in now. Uh, they'll surely lob this on into the square. The margin six points. And sure enough, he throws her in the mixer. Who do we have there? Paddy Scott. We just is everywhere in fairness to him. And that's uh, booted out by Sean Dunbar. O'Shean Regan uh, there. The ball lobbed in again. Dangerous ball. Oh. Ah, look, the keeper went to take that and Gorey got a goal. That's 4 1 to 2 8. Uh, there's three points now, a kick of a ball. Or 2 2, two 9. Sorry, 4. 2 9 to 4 1. But uh, I think time is almost up. Uh, to be fair, Blaze Carney was unlucky there. Uh, came and went to claim it in a, 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 a bad son. Uh, the ball is out and Oshin Regan has it. Oh, great catch by Oshin Regan. He takes it forward and he has the free. Oh, that was a great catch. Though. That was a very important catch by Oshin Regan. Uh, there's only a kick of ball in it now. 2-9 uh, to 4-1. Oh, a dangerous ball, but... Uh, Brian Ivers. Oh, very well done. Brian News in his body weight there. Sean Nabar is there with him. Sean Nabar takes it forward. Ah, that's a rugby tackle ref. And the referee blows the full-time whistle. A second county title in a week for Slaney Harriers. Uh, the amalgamation of Marshtown and halfway house Uh Some of the same players involved. And I have to say a very, very uh, good performance uh, from Slaney Harriers. The final scoreline, 2-9, uh, which is 15 points to 4-1. Um, it was a, a nervy closing period there. Uh, Gorey getting a goal. But uh, we'd like to wish congratulations to to everyone and commiserations to Gory. Uh, well done to Bartley, Regan and Mouse there, who's over the team. And uh, especially to the lads who have won two county titles in a week. Uh, Brian Ivers and Oshin Regan. Uh, uh, don't know if there's anyone else. There probably is someone I'm forgetting. But uh, we'd like to wish congratulations. A few words there, Eddie, on that game. Uh, second half there. We'll go over to my sideline correspondent, Eddie Dunbar. A good, a good win, Eddie. Uh, it was a good win now, the letting a couple of goals in the second half again. But other than that, Gory got nothing. They got one free, I think, and didn't even get many wides. But they, yeah, they, other than the goals, they wouldn't have been in it at all, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, Gory had the ability to get goals. Um, and to be fair to our lads, they, they did a good job uh, keeping them out for points. But uh, uh, a good overall team performance and, and great to get a second count title in the week. That's it, sure. They have two titles now in the one week. Um, uh, what do you call them? Slaney Harriers, what? Uh, yeah, there's a good lot of Buntloddy lads and Marshtown lads coming up and it's a good way playing at the higher level to improve their skills in, in football and hurling. So. Uh, it's, it's great to see, it's great to see. Um, and we would like to wish the Intermediate Camogies the best luck now at uh, half 11 in Euros. Over and out, thank you very much. like to say well done to both teams. Uh, Slaney Harriers is a combination of uh, Halfway House Puntoli and Marshalltown Castle Docker. So I'd just like to say well done to the people who came up and uh, got the numbers and got the young lads games at a high level and obviously you can see they're well prepared and they've been successful today. I'd just like to say hard luck to Naveena. I think I was at a minor hurling game where they were defeated as well. So I will defeat you learning more. And just stay at it, lads, and keep at it, and you'll have many more days ahead, and hopefully lots of success. And just finally, um, a lot of you lads are leaving now, um, leaving the underage get, get, uh, set up and going to adult. So it's going to be a big bad world out there. So the main thing is, the next couple of years, just stay at it and stay playing, and you'll get games. And it might just take a bit of time, and you'll get there. So just say, finally, I'd like to call in the two captains of Staley. Carriers and will present the trophy. So we will come on over, that's Well done, 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 uh, I'd also like to thank Gory. Um, close game, but um, we can make it up. I'd like to thank Mouse and Bartley for the last not just this year, three years. 
and savage time and effort into us uh, in the classroom. Long nights during the winter and summer when you're drying clothes. And thanks to the players as well. Fabulous uh -huh. training all year. Here with um, half a house, Pontlody, uh, and Oak, Chairman, Endless Levin. Uh, Enda, um, two county finals in a week, uh, two uh, victories. The under 16 was a premier on Monday night, and uh, Ryan won minor football today. Uh, a great week. Um, it was an age grade that we were struggling for numbers uh, in half a house, Pontlody, and uh, Marsh Town were in the same predicament. And you'd have to say the amalgamation has worked well. Yeah, it's worth a treat. Um, to be fair, like you know, if we had it stayed rowing our own boat there, we'd have six or seven lads up to age in both sixteens and minors, and we'd pull in like you know the majority of the team practically from the from the age group below. Um, like, and you'd be playing at a far lower division. Um, so I think it definitely justifies the the decision to amalgamate. Um, and fair play to Bartley, he's put in Trojan work with both uh, age groups this year, and you know. Uh, thankfully, like you know, came came good and, and two great titles to win. So it's um, very positive now in the last week. Yeah, and I have to say, um, both both the 16s on Monday and and the winner today, the quality of football and the quality of footballer uh, coming through for both clubs is promising. Um, it was 2002. Uh, Half a house Montlody won a Premier 16 and a Premier minor the same week. Uh, but geez, we haven't been adorning Premier finals. Uh, you know, uh, in well, recent years, so it's great to see. Oh, absolutely, yeah, and um, yeah, as I said, like playing at the higher division will really stand for the lads. And there's there's five or six uh, lads, like you know, in their last year of minor that are well capable of going on and, and making an impression at adult football and hurling next year, which is really positive. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. Well, look, 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 as the club, you see our our adult teams and and how tight the panels are, and and you know, six or seven lads uh, coming off uh, talented lads coming off of uh, the back of a uh, minor win. Uh, straight into our adult squads will be, uh, be surely welcome, Enda. Absolutely, um, you know, and that's like player transition is a, is something that we have to work on. Like you know, you, you work so hard and getting them in the door when they're younger, and you know, you need to you need to keep them then. Like you know, and once they once they move into adult, you know, but uh, you'd have every faith in in the lads that are are um, are, are moving up next year, and um, you know, there's a good crop of lads there at the at the under 16 age group, and. Uh, yeah, look at it's it's very positive, and as I said before, like it really does does justify the the decision to amalgamate because it wasn't something that we took lightly. Um, like obviously we'd prefer to be able to to be uh, you know playing as Marshall Town and Bunclody separately, but look, that's not not the situation we found ourselves in. So um, it's great to to win titles, um, even if it is uh, at an amalgamation. But uh, uh, you know it's uh, yeah, I I suppose I'm repeating myself, but it is really really positive. Like. Yeah, it is, and, and we shouldn't probably gloss over the fact that they were also challenging in both grades in hurling as well. Um, you know, and we have two lads uh, playing there today, uh, Brian Ivers and Oshin Regan, uh, who 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 featured in the under sixteen uh, win on on Monday night as well, and and uh, you'd have to say you, you'd predict uh, bright things for their futures. Um, Absolutely. Yep. But look, as I said, we'd like to congratulate Bartley and and Mouse and and on the work they've done with this squad over the last two years. Um, and and. Um, uh, hopefully more to come from these young men. Absolutely. Thanks, Enda. Cheers. Thanks, Liam. Bye. All right. Uh, we're here with uh, Oshin Regan and Brian Ivers, uh, the two lads. Uh, very unique achievement. Uh, they won under 16 Premier Football on Monday evening uh, in a county final versus Ballyhog and have the honour of playing today, uh, beating Gorey in the minor. Um, lads, uh, if every week was like that, it wouldn't be too bad, would it? No. Uh, Oshin, to start with you, a lot of work gone in over the last two years. Uh, your, father, uh, your father, Bartley, uh, uh, over the team, over the 16s on Monday night as well. Yeah. Um, I suppose a week like that, uh, when you get the finals, they take on life of their own, but a week like that, just reward for the work that's gone in uh, over the last couple of years. Yeah, sure. Lads, eight months ago we started and put in a shift all year, working hard and best week of our lives now. And we got rewarded with how much work we put in, so it's well deserved. 
Yeah, and the amalgamation between uh, Half House, Montlody and, and Marshtown to make the Slaney Harriers uh, has gone very well. Uh, both teams probably struggling for numbers. Uh, if you see the panels for amalgamated squads, they're, they're quite small still. Uh, so it just shows you the, the, the lack of numbers uh, from both clubs. But I have to say the quality of football, both on Monday night and here today, was uh, was very, very high level. And it's great to see talent coming through in both clubs. Um, uh, and, and I, I don't think it should be lost over. You, you gave the hurling a right rattle as well uh, this year uh, in both co- in both age groups. Uh, where do you see Oshin uh, yourself? I suppose you've another two years on Clear Minor. Uh, you know that 16s group very strong uh, in both hurling and football. You'll give it a right rattle for the next two years. Hopefully, and try bring home double premier in two years' time if we can. And go up in Premier in Harlan would be would be good. I reckon we give it a good shout and we're unfortunate this year I guess I'll get um we play them again, I say we beat them nine times out of ten, but sure on the day we got unlucky and they worked harder. That's us. confidence it's easy you know that man has had a good week. <laughs> uh, uh Brian, uh we'll hand over to you. Uh you're uh, come from good GA stock, uh, uh your father and your uncle, uh, great stalwarts for the Starlights and the Rapparees over the years. And uh, your mother, uh Borna Bally Daw, uh st- staunch GA men, to be fair, staunch Marshtown men. Um uh your love of GA I suppose started young. Yeah. Since I'm five or six, I'd say. Get out there. Since I'm five or six, I'd say I started. Drag down to the pitch, no option. Uh, maybe I liked it a small bit. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, a great uh, display of players kicking and open play the other night, and the same today, Brian. Uh, um, who is the best free taker in the Ivers household? Is that is that an argument that's had uh, over the breakfast table? Colin's not able to hit him anyway, so. Right, 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 right. Him, so I'll take. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, uh, he, and he was a uh, double mark today, probably identified by uh, Gory as a danger man, uh, and took plenty of attention off the lads outside. To be fair, uh, is it Colin's last year minor? Yeah, he's done now. Yeah, he's in, he's into the adult, the big bad world, as Davy says. Yep. Uh, the adult grave. Lads, I want to wish you uh, congratulations and the best of luck in your careers. Uh, two fabulous talents, and it's great to have you. Thanks very much. Right. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Here with uh, Bartley Regan, uh, manager of the successful uh, under-16 Premier uh, side on uh, Premier County Champions on Monday evening and uh, today's minor uh, County Champions. Uh, Bartley, if uh, all weeks were like that, it wouldn't be too bad. No, Liam, they wouldn't, but... Um I, I suppose um, on the spot here, Liam. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I suppose Bartley. Um, you know, it's great to have weeks like that, but uh, they're, they're born of um, years of work. I suppose uh, you've you've put in a, a, a serious shift this year with the uh, 16s and minors and uh, minors last year and and over the last probably 15 years with the club, Bartley. Uh, probably. Y- you probably haven't had a successful uh, week like that ever with with two uh, county titles. Uh, maybe you'll correct me. We had actually we we um, won we won an under fourteen Ryan one hurling title. I think we won an under sixteen two weeks after that. Yeah, well we say we call it a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I think it was a minor Premier one too, yeah. in the, around the same time. So look at um, it's all about the chaps at the end of the day. Um, uh, Mouse and Jeremy McGrath from Marshestown were a big help and big influence on the thing too. So you know it's it's uh, it's all about the group and it's all about. You know, the, the team is not is not any one individual that does it, as you can see from the performance of the lads there today and again on um, Monday night. And when you have 15 players where you can't pick out anyone, that every one of them are doing a job and giving 100%, it's, you know, you're in a good place. And the same, ca- same again today, that's, that's what we got. Uh, we d- I felt we dominated the game. 15 lads out in the field have worked really hard, worked hard for each other, and it's a credit to them and their parents and their families really uh, delighted uh, for them. Uh, absolutely Bartley and, and uh, as you say it's absolutely all about the chaps as well um, and, and we have you know um, we were short uh, both in uh, 16 and minor uh, of lads in, in halfway house and you'd uh, amalgamated with Marshtown to make Slaney Harriers and you'd have to say it's been a successful partnership you know uh, put success aside you know when you're struggling to get out teams numbers wise uh, it's not simple but uh uh, Marston are in the same predicament and, and uh, they've really come together as a group uh, you know you'd hardly they're very united thanks Eddie we'll see you next year <laughs> <laughs> thanks <laughs> thanks John <laughs> thanks lads um, oh yeah sorry I, I got distracted there um, yeah, yeah look at uh, yeah our numbers were very very low um, 
we start with the 16s on Monday night we had 18 players between both clubs um, you know people say oh the true parishes but there's lots of amalgamated teams playing under 16 football and minor football uh, a lot of amalgamated teams they're still playing down in Division 3 and Division 4 and Division 5 uh, put a bit of work into them put them up to divisions uh, you know um, the old 16s uh, three years ago were playing in Division 5 and uh, I don't believe they won a game in it because we were looking at the grade and, and that journey started uh, the county board uh, stuck those into um, last year they stuck them into the lowest grade of um, in football for the Fela and uh, they came through that uh, this year to put them into the second tier for hurling the football uh, in the league uh, we've two finals today yet we've, we've, we've reached two finals in that the boys have and we look to push them up again as high as we could uh, so um, just with a bit of work and a bit of attitude with the boys and they showed great attitude and great determination and you know <coughs> They're listening to a lot of bad stories over the years, telling them they're not good enough and killing their confidence. They're great young fellas, and all we're doing is giving them an opportunity to play at the highest level, both the minors and the 16s, and they're not out of place there uh, in any way. Uh, absolutely not, no, and, and, and uh, the standard of football, both on Monday night and, and uh, the attitude as well, both on Monday night and today, were, were very good. Um, you have a pivotal role as a minor manager, I suppose, last step to, to adult uh, football in Hurling, and, and uh, you know, you give the Hurling a right rattle too, uh, it should be noted. Um, uh, we hopefully have in Half House Montlody a couple of lads coming off that team straight into our adult squads, which is badly needed, you know, they're tight squads as well. Um, I suppose, what advice would you give them going up, Bartley? Just stick with it, have faith in themselves, have belief in themselves, uh, keep putting in the hours. If you don't put in the work, you don't get the results. That's proven this year. You put in the work, lads, and you got the results. So just keep at it, lads. It's, it's very simple, every one of you. Yeah, and we'd like to wish uh, uh, all them chaps the very best of luck in their adult careers, uh, both with uh, Half a House, Montlaudi and Marshtown. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Liam.